Hey, this is Kenneth with another clock build. Uh, this one's re rather unique compared to most of my other ones due to the fact that not only is it battery powered, it's using an entirely different platform. Uh, this clock is based on the uh, MSP430 line. It is thanks to Launchpad, uh, the T Texas Instruments Launchpad platform, which is for their G G2 value series. Uh, I was able to start developing on that platform. Uh, the biggest advantage of the TI controllers is the fact that they're low power, so they can be battery powered, which is, this one is. So what it is, is it's a rather simple interface. It has one two-position switch with a center off, and one push button and a single bicolor LED. When you push the button with the switch in the center position, it blinks out the current time. Uh, what it is, is at the beginning it does that twiddle if it's the afternoon, uh, PM and then it blinks first hours, pauses, and then minutes. Each blink series it consists of greens for 10, yellows for 5, and then reds for 1. So right now you can see it's PM 1, 2, 3, 3, 1. So that means it's 3.01 PM. Put the switch in the up position and you can uh, set the time by pressing the button and it increments the hours. So now you can see it just was 4 and we push it again, one, five, is it blink yellow there? Yellow, red, that means it's six. In the down position, you push it, that said it was uh, three, push it again, and it was five, as there's deep, there's bouncing issues. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see that the bouncing still needs a little bit of work, but, uh, other than that, it's it's fairly handy. It is as you see, this is actually in a uh, standard deep gang box. This is a 20 cubic inch plastic gang box. I chose this as the project box because they're relatively cheap. They're uh, 43 cents each for the gang box, and the front panels are only 58 cents. So for a dollar, you get a fairly decent uh, project box. The one concern is that the drilling into the front plate here is it's extremely fragile. It is I managed to crack one of the plates already, so if you want to drill into the front, you have to be very careful and drill it in a couple sizes up. Um, as for drilling under the side here, it would be a lot easier. So if you if you really wanted to mount some sort of project, I would have the controls out here. But yeah, so now we'll open it up and take a look inside. So this is the internals of my bicolor blink clock. There isn't much to it. Uh, right here we have the uh, MSP430. Uh, it has a little quartz crystal right here, the standard 32 kilohertz. Two, two resistors to limit the current on the LED. Pull up resistor for the reset and then just some filter caps. That's all just on a piece of perf board. Double A battery holder. And then it just brings, it just has all the wires coming out here to the front panel. That's, that's really just about it. It being mounted in this uh, gang box was really ch chosen just because it's only about a dollar for the front plate plus the gang box and so as far as project boxes go this is a relatively cheap solution. Hope you enjoyed.